Hey, good news guys. GPU prices are going down. And so is this segment to our sponsor. Motion VFX has an impressive portfolio of plugins for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve that will elevate your video editing process. One of the favorite is MTuber 2. Every YouTubers must have to speed up the workflow. You can create intros, call to action buttons, highlight information, and do that within minutes. Use the effects to boost the audience attention and level up your content quality. Motion VFX has a detailed tutorial to ensure the ease of use of the MTuber 2 effect. Pack. And yes, it also works on Apple M1 Silicon. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% off. Check it out in the video description below. Okay, don't you worry. These aren't all my graphics cards. I wish they were. I only have a few of them. I just keep the boxes if I'm doing builds for other people, just so I have a reference when I'm talking about certain graphics cards. I can actually show you the box and you might think that I have a graphics card, but actually don't. <laughs> but at the same time, it is true that prices of the graphics cards are coming down. Look at this Zotac White Amp 3060. I like that. I would say, look, if you've been holding out to building a PC, then right now is a really good time to do it. I've seen some crazy deals on GPU prices, like the prices we're going to show you in a moment, some of them. I've seen the prices go down to a point where I thought they'll never be. I thought that those are the prices and the prices will never come down but at the moment they're coming down. And you might be saying, but what if there's something else in the corner? Should I be waiting even longer if the prices are going down? Maybe it's gonna go down even further. I understand the question, but at the same time, I just wanna say, if you need the PC right now, build it right now, because you don't know what other shortage is gonna be around the corner. RAM, CPU, motherboards, cases, power supplies. You don't know what's around the corner. And if you want to wait, you can wait. And to be honest, a lot of people just wait for Ever. And if you can wait and you don't necessarily need a PC right now, look, just don't build it, don't buy it, that's that. But if you've been thinking about a good time, when is a good time to build it, you know, right now is a good time. Let me show you why. So if you're based in the UK, then let me show you a good shop to get some awesome graphics cards. Now, this is CCL Online. Not sure if you've heard about them before. I have actually I recommended them secretly if you've seen like on some of the b-roll of other you know products but i've mentioned i've um, looked often their price up because they're very affordable prices and the next day delivery and lots of other things anyway the point is there's lots of good gpus in stock in ccl online like look at this one 3080 ventus 1300 quid we're going to show you the us ones in a moment or us deals as you can see new eggs are coming up over there and 3070 ti for 780 quid like I paid about 1200 for 3070. Now this is 770 for us 3070 Ti, which is even better. We're getting close to 3080 there. It's somewhere between 3080 and 3070, which is which is you know really good. Look at that. Asus 3070 Ti, 760, even cheaper. Tomorrow free delivery uh, and look collection options. Um, this has very limited stock over here, but looks like this is, you know, available over there. Let's have a look at this pallet one over there. Limited stock as well, but looks like there are GPUs in stock. Look at this Supreme. There we go. 3080 for 1200 quid. That's insane. We used to pay like, whatever, 1600, 1700, two grand for 3080. This is even better. Look at this one over here. Asus 3050 Duo, as you can see, 10 plus in stock right now, 350 quid. That's really, really good. We just made the thousand dollar build where I recommended this GPU. And if you're wanting like, like a budget editing, you know, PC, then this is amazing GPU over here. I mean, even the 3090 over here for 1900 quid is a very good option. I wish we had white Strix as well, but this is a very rare card, you know, to get white Strix, obviously. These aren't in stock, but look at these loads of GPUs in stock and some of them even on a deal here. Okay, this was two and a half, but now look, 1900 insane maybe you've been waiting for a 3080 look at that 1150 quid for this ventus over here i'm not sure why this is a different over here but look at that they're here the same card and this is the 12 gigabyte version not the 10 gigabyte version which is even better as you can see look 3080 tough over here that's the 12 gig as well 1300 that's a very good one and look at that this is the 3080 with 10 gigabyte one over here 900 quid that's insane if you want to know which is like a good price or good deals from gpus i'm gonna leave some of the links in the description below if you're in the uk and if you're in the us but let's have a look at the us deals over here so this is a new egg uh, 
um, very like big retailer. I looked on Amazon as well, but Amazon is still like quite a lot of scalper stuff in there and it was a little bit more expensive. I might link some in there just so you have a reference of Amazon as well. And by the way, when you click in on my links, they are smart links. For example, this is the $1,000 PC build that we did um, just recently. As you can see, if you go into the description and you see all these links, they are smart links. So let's say we click on the GPU over here. Boom. So this is now going to say that, okay, look, Zotac 3050 over here. Where do you want, you know, to go? Do you want to check it on Amazon, BNH or Newegg? These will like, will find the same model on all of these shops. Just so you know how these links will work. These are affiliate links as well. So I will get a small commission for with no extra cost to you, but it will help, you know, the channel will grow the channel and so on. So let's say you want to look for Amazon. Let's have a look at the price over here. 400 quid on Amazon. Let's have a look on BNH. 429 dollars. Let's have a look at Newegg, out of stock. So as you can see, you can check different shops and check like the prices and get the best deal for your graphics cards or other products. But here on Newegg, we can see that 3050s, for example, are going on a very, very good deal. This is $380. Now, when I made my $1,000 PC video, then I was telling you that these are about 450 to 500 quid. If it's over 500 quid, I wouldn't go with it. But now this is $150 cheaper, roughly about there, which is absolutely amazing. Look at this 3080 Ti over here, 1500 quid in stock and shipping. I mean, 3070 Master over here by Gigabyte Aorus, 860, very good deals. 3070 Ti, so you get a little bit of a better card. Look at this 3070 by paying $30 extra. That's an even better deal. Look at this uh, 3060 over here. This goes for $600. When I made my $15 PC build video, then I said that you can get it for around $800. That $1,500 build is $200 cheaper just because you can get this one in stock. Absolutely amazing. And even this, look, 3060 Ti. You can get a 3060 Ti for 700. That's that's absolutely amazing. Anyway, what I'm saying is the prices are really, really good. I'm going to leave them linked below. But then which GPU should you be buying? Because this is the place where you get very excited often and you're like, oh, I need a 3090, I need a 3080. And if you're a creator, well, depends what you do. For example, photographers, there is literally like 2% difference. Uh, I've made the video, I'm just editing editing there. My editor is editing that over there between the 30, 90 and 30, 50. Honestly, the difference is almost not noticeable. Like I can't say there's no difference because like in my benchmarks, there can be up to 2% difference, but 2% difference between these two cards, but five times the price. Don't overspend if you are a photographer and you just want performance in photo editing workflow. If you're a videographer though, then the difference is a little bit bigger. And depending what's your workflow, if you use loads of graphics, graphics effects or DaVinci Resolve, then having a better graphics card is like very good option. But I think somewhere in the middle, like if you want something that's really good graphics card, not too expensive uh, and not like on the Jeep end, then I think 3070 to 3070 Ti, if you're working with 4K footage, is going to be a great pick for you. If you're doing 6K and above and very complicated effects and color grades and multi layers of color grades, masks and then noise reduction, then I highly recommend like if you can, if your budget allows, 3080 and above. Now the 3080 12 gig model can come helpful, but often this can be priced much more than the 3080. If you're not doing like, you know, really 8K plus footage, then you don't really need that extra VRAM. So having the 10 gigabit model of the 3080 is completely fine for you. And you know, don't fall into the trap for paying, I don't know, $100, $200 extra just to get the 12 gig model, model because the difference isn't that big. But if you know that you're gonna get the difference, you know, then obviously go for it. And then thirdly, if you're doing any 3D work, rendering or 3D modeling, you know, using softwares like Blender, uh, V-Ray, Maya, something like that, then the graphics cards really scale very, very well. Like between the 3050 and 3090, roughly about, you know, four or five times difference, which is absolutely, you know, the scaling of the graphics cards is very, very good. So if 3D work is important to you and you want the actual, you know, hardware acceleration and rendering, in your programs if you want to choose that then you know go with higher end graphics card you're really going to benefit from having a good graphics card like 3070 and above another little tip over here is that if you are adobe creative cloud user then i highly recommend finding an asus card or checking out the same model whichever model you're looking for also an asus variant just because asus offers 
free Creative Cloud membership with all of their like graphics cards. As you can see, this is ASUS's web page. You can see that uh, and find it or Google, you know, uh, this or just go to that web page. If I scroll down, there's three month and one month membership options. Three month membership really is when you buy any of your pro art, you know, kind of branded stuff from ASUS. But then if you go to the one month membership option, you can see that graphics cards, all AMD Radeon and NVIDIA RTX and GTX graphics cards get a one month free membership. And then and underneath here, it will show you how to actually redeem the membership and how it all works and blah, blah, blah. But basically, just worth checking out ASUS's cards because you might get it actually cheaper than the competition. If the cards are the same, then might as well just go with the ASUS cards unless you really want the design or something like that. And then you can deduct the price of the Creative Cloud membership one month from the actual graphics card price. And it also works when you already have the Creative Cloud membership. So it can like add up on top already, even if you already have Creative Cloud. And then last point I wanna make is if you don't know which PC to build, I highly recommend you check out my different guides for different budgets on my channel. I've made the $1,000 PC build guide, 1500, and then two and a half thousand build guide as well. I'm not sure if the two and a half thousand build guide is out yet, it's already filmed. I think I'm exporting it over there. It's coming out very soon. So check them out. Also other PC builds, loads of them like creative focus builds are on the channel, but these are really like the best bang for buck for 2022. Like, you know, the first half of 2022, if you're wondering which parts to get and why should you get them, then go check those videos out. I'm going to leave them in the description below as well, just so it's easier for you to find. So then it might be a good time for you to build a PC. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. All the links I've talked about are in the description below as well. Likes if you enjoyed it, subs if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.